The second lieutenant's job is to direct the battle and motivate the men. And that often means exposing himself to enemy fire. As a result, in actual combat, the second lieutenant's casualty rate has been extremely high. Right out towards the right! Right out towards the right! Alright, come on, bring your squad around and go up on the Uh, Norwegian troops skied through this ravine, and the Marines were able to uh, trap them in the ravine with fire from uh, left and right flanks. So at this time, I'd say the Marines uh, were able to, through this attack, to, uh, to kill every man who came through that ravine. Really? Yes, sir. That was, uh, that was really sorry. That was good. That's the first time we've ever been attacked by ski troops before. Yes, and it was kind of... It was different. It was really surprising. I looked up, and here come one of your troops, one of the skis with a machine gun. Just <laughs> kind of unbalances for a minute, but it was real good. It's the first time I am fighting against the U.S. Army, too. OK, we, we're Marines. We're Marines, yes. Marines, yeah. Now, I, I got my, brought my uh, platoon up here to meet your soldiers. Is that all right? They like to talk, you know, and, yes. and take pictures with them and everything. That's what the, uh, this is uh, Corporal Smith, one of my squad leaders. And uh, this is the sergeant in charge of all the Norwegians. And we're talking. He's a, he's, a, he's a banker by trade. Yeah. Yeah, I love the snow. We come from uh, the west of Norway. There are not snow. No snow. Very, very little. <laughs> you guys have snow machines? Snow machines, you, you know, scooters? No. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You, you drive around the, the big tracks. You use this? No, we no. don't have them here, but I've got them back at home. I see. Yeah, I drive around in the snow in them. I love them. Oh, yeah. freeze up, man? I beg your pardon? You will freeze up, man? No, I lay down upside in the hill here and shot at you. <laughs> Some snow on my gun. <laughs> See the one right there? Yes. All right, you line that one up with the tip of that, and that's approximately 100 meters. They are 20 years old when they have to go into the army. Oh, that's when they have to go through. Yeah. By they 20. Yes. Okay, like, you know, say a person you know, like, didn't want to go in the army, you know, would you know, something happen to him? Yes, uh, that's not uh, legal. You have to go into the army if he's uh, not sick. You... Well, if uh, there are some persons who don't have to, if your religion tells you not to um, make war, then you don't have to. You see, our officers are not so uh, like this. We have to. We are. Uh, are you all officers? No, no. no. But no. you don't. Know, don't. We don't shave every day. Oh. No, they. They like us to stay clean shaven. No, no beard. But Mustache is very small. Yeah. Regulations. You shouldn't uh, shave really... in the morning. Huh? You shouldn't shave in the morning. You should shave just in the evening. Uh, yeah. Because, hair. Because. Yeah, I see. Oh, hair. <laughs> <laughs> like prisoners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long have you been up here now? Did Four, you come up with Sergeant? Yes, yes. No. Yeah, uh, 14 days. 14 days? Yeah. I came uh, one week uh, earlier. Let me ask something. Where's all the women at? <laughs> <laughs> There's no, no women. I don't know. I haven't seen them. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you find them, let me know. Yeah. Let yes. me know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It was fantastic. South Norway, that's what you're from, right? I mean, we really had a good time. We found out there are, there are a hell of a bunch of nice guys. I can't speak English. Uh, it's okay, we understand. <laughs> you know, my Marines been out there pulling them sleds all day long. You, you, you feel sorry for them. When they fought against the, uh, the English, it's like, 
And this is just what they needed, a little break where they could unwind. Run a George in there. They could talk to soldiers from another nationality, get to know them. <laughs> you know, to me, uh, getting to know them and talk to them makes the whole uh, operation all worthwhile. Like this. Yeah. Mm. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, good job. If you, I hope you get to America someday. Yes, I think I really you'll like it, you know, the visit and everything. I really enjoy being here in Norway, beautiful country. Doc, take care of yourself. Good to see you. Okay. Let's talk to you. Okay, Bye. thanks. Take care. Take it easy. Take care, See you next time. Goodbye. 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 Enjoyed it. Enjoyed yeah! It. All right. Goodbye. Mark. It's outrageous. So that's why you string uh, calm wire up about neck high. And... <laughs> <laughs> everybody get the... Hey, it's your mate. You see Tate and uh, Smith? They coming? If I was to write you a letter and describe what's going on here, how the troops are doing, you could never believe this is something you actually have to see. You know, and that's why you're making a movie, so people can see what's going on. Yeah, that's it. One more, right on top there. They want to be the best. And they know something's got to be done. And they care for each other. You got, you, I want you to stand about uh, 25, 30 meters behind me, OK? And I like that. And that's what I've been striving ever since I've been here to get from these uh, young men, is the teamwork and the family concept, because you get that. And they can do anything.